Hey yo, boss, and welcome back. It has been an awesome five year anniversary. I can't believe it's been five years. Chef's had a great time putting out some of his favorite videos, and he wants to just thank everyone along the way, and we hope you've really enjoyed them. So this holiday season, have you been making some cookies or sweet treats? It looks like little chef has been. Good job. Like this. And Chef just wants to know if you've ever been served gluey, thick, gloppy, or even watery mashed potatoes. If so, it's okay. You can admit to it. We've all been there. Chef in the giving spirit is finally going to share his amazing, delicious, homemade mashed potatoes recipe. Very delicious. We really hope you take away this one because it's one of his favorite sides. And we think your friends and family will love it. Now, Chef wants to point out there's a lot of different potatoes you can use. And by all means, if you like to mash with a different potato, do so. Do what makes you happy. We're just here to kind of give tips and tricks. The first potato we're going to talk about, however, is the red. Now, this is a waxy potato, really good for smashing, broiling, or pan frying. But you can mash them. Next up is your white potato. This is the middle of the road potato that actually is really good for mashing as well. Then the almighty russet. Now these have a very, very high starch and very low moisture. Probably one of the best to mash with. However, we're gonna be mashing the Yukon Golds. Very high starch, very low moisture as well. So it makes for a great mashed potato. This is Thomas Joseph from Kitchen Conundrums and we actually gonna give him a quick shout out and a big thank you if he ever watches this. He's given us a lot of tips and tricks on mashed potatoes, so let's get cooking. So Chef has his Yukon Golds. Just to point out, he's using the whole five pound bag. So just so you're aware. The first thing he's gonna do is just peel these. And you don't have to wash the potatoes if you're gonna peel them. Once they've been peeled, just go ahead and cut them into medium equal size parts. And the first big tip we're gonna talk about today is actually steaming. So a lot of people boil their potatoes, but if you buy a steamer, throw a couple inches of water below the steamer pot, and steam your potatoes, they'll come out delicious and they won't be gluey or gloppy because when you boil potatoes, the water can actually make the potato gloppy. So by steaming them, the 212 degree steam is just as hot as boiling water. So these are gonna go in for about 30 minutes. They're gonna be steaming away. Chef is gonna get his butter and milk ready. One cup butter, one cup milk, equal parts. And again, this is for a five pound bag. He's gonna be putting these in the microwave in a minute. Of course, you always wanna check your potatoes. So put a fork and if they go, if it glides in, they're ready. As you can see, chef, they're not going in, so we're gonna keep cooking them. It's been about 30 minutes and chef's gonna go ahead and test again. And as you can see, yeah, the fork is gliding right in. These are ready to be mashed. So chef went ahead and picked up a ricer and this is another big tip that he's loved. Ricing the potatoes is not only easier than mashing them, but you don't cut through the potato like a food processor or mixer. Just try to stay away from those because by cutting through or shearing through the potato, you can make them gluey. So by filling the hopper, which is the center of the ricer, three quarters of the way with your potatoes, you can rice them evenly and you won't be making them gluey. Not to mention, Chef's gonna point out, Ricing them just like so is so much easier than using a hand mixer. So go ahead and just keep filling the hopper and ricing away just like so. Now Chef went ahead and put his milk and his butter in the microwave to, to heat them up. It's easier to mix in as well as the warm milk and butter keep the potatoes from cooling down. So this is a good time you want to season your milk and butter together, add a little bit of salt. You can also do pepper, rosemary, any garlic, whatever you want. But season that butter milk because that's the easiest way to flavor them. So now Chef has all his riced potatoes and he's all he's going to do is add a little bit of milk and butter. That's all you got to do. Take a spatula and then just move them around. As you can see, he's barely using any work. This is pretty much mashing itself. That's right. Self mashing potatoes. We said it. After a while, go ahead and pour a little bit more in. And again, take your time. If you feel they're at the consistency you like, you can stop. You don't have to use all the milk or butter. Go slow, stir, add more, keep stirring. 
Jeff is now at a consistency that he loves, and he's going to kind of start to wrap this up. So he's going to transfer these now to his uh, showcase bowl. And here they are, but we're not going to serve them up yet because we've got to make them fancy. So Chef's going to cut up some green onions, put those right on top. And there you have it. Creamy, delicious, buttery, smooth mashed potatoes. Very simple. We definitely hope you pick up some of the tips we've done. Steaming them, getting a ricer, it definitely makes it easier. But these came out delicious. And we hope you really enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends or make it for a, uh, a dinner throughout the whole year. But uh, thanks again for everything, everyone. And don't forget, cooking should be fun. Have fun doing it. Happy holidays.